everyone, welcome back to my channel, So Fast I Young, I'm Morgan, um, and tonight we're in my living room and I'm working on putting boning in a corset. So I am going to do a quick little video about how I like to cut and tip my spiral steel boning using, um, I have a, like a little die press that I got from my Dritz handheld, um, grommet setter from Farthingales, and it goes with, it works really well with their boning tips. So I'm going to do this little video, and that'll be it. Hope you enjoy it. Um, please remember to like, follow, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my content. Thanks. I've got my spiral steel. I've got my tips. We've got these die sets that go with the Farthingale tips. So I got these from Farthingales. This goes on a Dritz hand hand setter for like grommets and stuff. And I have snips and a sharpie. I, like. I have applied my tip to one end of my length of spiral steel. I'm going to place that here and measure it to this light line that I've drawn that is my stitching line. So on this end, about a quarter inch down, because I like to give myself some wiggle room, I'm going to mark a line. That's where I'm going to take my nippers and cut my spiral steel. Okay, on the spiral steel, if you cut the very outside rings on each side, you will actually cut your cut yourself a nice edge. So you don't have to cut all the way through, just cut the very edges. Then we're going to put tip on. You can trim those down if you need to. If they became uneven, you put your tip on. I'm going to use this lovely little crimp thing. I love this one. And it just is that easy. Just clamp it down. But it's secure. It's actually more secure than uh, most ones that I've set by hand in the past. Once she's all secure, you're just going to go ahead and slide her into the channel. Work it down so that it's below this line, and you're done. After you've done all the bones, then you can, and they're all below your stitch line, you can then bind off the top edge of your corset. This is the top, that's the bottom. That's how I always do it. <laughs> 